Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy and this is Yoga with Jerm. Today's practice is a beautiful heart opening flow. So get ready to do some back bends with us. And at the end, we we'll finish off with wheel pose. So a little bit intense. Let's get started with the practice. And let's start today's practice in tabletop position with the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. This nice and stable position here. And let's do a few cats and cows just to warm up the spine. On the inhale, drop the belly, lifting the gaze, arching the spine. Then on the exhale, rounding the spine, the head comes between the arms, tailbone between the legs. Inhale to drop the belly and look up and broaden across the collarbones and exhale to round as you suck the belly in. Once more, inhale, drop the belly and look up. Feel the sitting bones spreading out behind you. And as we stay here with the arch in the spine, let's find knees, chest and chin by bending the elbows, placing chest and chin down onto the mat. Feel free to walk the knees slightly further back if this helps you to ground the chest. Slide to lie flat. On the inhale, let's peel the heart off the mat for a low cobra. Squeeze the elbows close to the body. Let's see if we can now hover the hands one inch off the mat, activating the muscles here in the middle and upper back. Holding it here for five, good, but not holding the breath. Four, three, two, and then the hands down, one. Let's come back for table top position. Up on the hands and knees once again. And from this position, left leg extended behind you, keeping it hovering at the height of the hip. And then the right hand is extended in front, finding a balancing tabletop. Once you're stable, start to lift the hand and the leg as high as you can. Keep the hip squared down towards the mat, so the left hip is at the same height as the right hip. Most of the engagement here is in the posterior chain, so the left glutes, the left hamstrings, all engaging to lift the left heel higher, and even the muscles along the back and the shoulder for five, four, good, we're in a back bend. Three, allow the ribs to flare out here, two, and one, hands down, knees down. Let's come back for tabletop position. And switching sides. Right leg is extended behind, left hand is extended in front. Once you're ready, lifting the Heel and the hand as high as you can. The body becomes a little U shape. Lift a little bit higher here as you lift up through the heels. Good. Foot is flexed, holding it here for five, four, three. Gazing up as you need to. Two. And when you're ready, one. Let's place the hands down, knees down. Coming back for tabletop position. Another round of cat and cow. On the inhale, drop the belly, lifting the gaze, arching the spine. Then on the exhale, rounding the spine, the head comes between the arms, tailbone between the legs. Inhale to drop the belly and look up, broaden across the collarbones. As you exhale, we round the spine. Head comes between the arms as we draw the belly in. Last one, inhale to drop the belly and look up. And let's find knees, chest and chin by bending the elbows, placing the chest down onto the mat, chin down as well. Slide to lie flat. Then on the inhale now, let's find a cobra pose, lifting as high as the lower back is comfortable going. Shoulders away from the ears, the chest is coming forward between the arms. Good, tuck the toes and let's push back for downward facing dog. Go ahead and paddle it out bending one knee then the other, swaying the hips from side to side, dropping one shoulder then the other. Anything that you need to feel comfortable in down dog, go ahead and do so. And whenever you're ready, coming to stillness in downward facing dog with the hips up high, the heels reaching for the mat, the chest is pressing towards the thighs. Left foot forward between the hands for low lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. 
Let's find space here to sink the hips forward and down. As we crawl the left foot slightly further forward, good. Find the stretch in the right hip flexor here, lowering the hips for five. Nice and strong. Four, three, two. Opening up the arms for cactus arms. One, elbows at 90 degrees as you squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Just lift the sternum up almost feeling as if you're gazing up 45 degrees here. Last four, three, good, squeeze the shoulder blades, two, and then one, bring the hands to heart center and we twist to the left, hooking the right elbow outside the left knee. Suck the belly in, we twist from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head so that even the gaze is over the left shoulder. Five, four, good, three, Tuck the toes, two, and on one, let's straighten the back knee, coming into a prayer twisted high lunge. Stay here to breathe, very stable, good, five, four, keep pulling up on the right kneecap, three, two, nice, and one, untwist with the arms up towards the ceiling, finding high lunge. Here in high lunge, we hold as we straighten up even more into the back knee and we press into the right toes so that the heel is pointing up towards the ceiling as well. Keep the front knee bent so that it's stacked over the ankle. Last three, two, let's sweep the arms behind the back and one, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together, roll the shoulders up and back. From here, we're puffing out the chest as we gaze 45 degrees upwards. Hold and breathe here. Good. Four. Three. Two. Turn to the one o'clock position and on one. Let's bow down on the inside of the left thigh. Crown of the head is coming closer to the mat. The fist is coming further away from the body. We are not resting the body on the thigh, so the shoulder is going past the thigh almost. Hold and breathe for four, three, two, and the body stays exactly where it is. On one, let's release the hands, placing the right hand down onto the mat, lift the left hand up towards the ceiling. Start by imagining one straight line from the right hand all the way up to the left hand. Then can we pull the left hand even further back? Three, two, and one, left hand planted down onto the mat now. Let's step back to a plank pose. And from plank pose, option for knees, chest and chin or bend the elbows 90 degrees lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra, your choice. And then on the exhale, let's push back for downward facing dog. Right foot forward between the hands for low lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. Again, crawling the right foot slightly further forward so that we can sink the hips forward and down. Suck the belly in, good. Allow the ribs to flare out here, it's perfectly fine. Last four, three, two, Let's bring the elbows into 90 degrees for cactus arms. One, imagine you're squeezing a pencil between the shoulder blades as you gaze 45 degrees up, chest is nice and proud. Four, three, imagine you're balancing something on your collarbones. Two, and one, let's come back to center with the hands to heart center, twist over to the right, hooking the left elbow outside the right knee. Suck the belly in and let's lift the center of the heart up to touch the thumbs. Breathing here and holding for four, three, tuck the toes, two, and let's straighten the back knee off the mat slowly and with control, holding it here in this prayer twisted high lunge for five, four, three, two, untwist arms up. One, let's come to high lunge with the arms up. Keep the biceps close to the ears. This is how we find the engagement still in the posterior chain, holding it there. Five, four, 
three, good. Continue to straighten through the left knee, two, and let's sweep the arms behind the back, one. Interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders up and back. Start by puffing up the chest, allow the ribs to flare out as you gaze 45 degrees up. We hold here for a few more breaths, four, three, two, and then turning to the 11 o'clock position on one. Let's bow down on the inside of the right thigh so that the crown of the head comes close to the mat. The fist is coming further away from the body, holding for five. Nice and strong. Four, the right leg strongly working. Three, two, and as you gradually release the arms, one, let's place the left hand down where it is, right hand lifting up towards the ceiling for an easy twist. Good. Start by finding that line from the bottom hand to the top hand, then begin to activate the muscles in the back so that even the right hand is pulled further back. Five, four, three, two, and let's bring the right hand down onto the mat for one. Step back, one vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog now, send the shoulders over the wrists for plank pose. And let's bend the elbows on my count, lowering down slowly for five, good. Four, get ready to lower all the way. Three, halfway there now. Two, and when you're ready, one. Let's drop down all the way on our bellies, extending the hands in front of you. And when you're ready, we're going to lift everything off, balancing only on our bellies and maybe the tops of the hips. Finding locust pose. When you're ready, on the next inhale, everything lifted off the hands, off the arms, off, chin is off, the chest is lifted. Good. The feet are off, the knees all the way up past the thighs. Five, four, make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one, lowering down onto the mat, nice and strong. Sweep the arms behind the back, interlace the fingers. Good. The next one, we're going to lift this everything off of the interlaced fingers behind the back. When you're ready, everything off, lifting up as high as you can. Try to get the fists off the body. Last five. Four, a little higher, point the toes. Three, squeeze the glutes. Two, chest forward, and one, lowering down onto the mat as you release the hands. Good, strong practice. And with the hands underneath the shoulders. Next inhale, let's find a nice cobra pose. Then on the exhale, push back for downward facing dog. From downward facing dog now, look between the hands. Stepping left foot, right foot forward, take a halfway lift. Then on the exhale, forward fold. Separate the feet, hip width apart, and let's find a rag doll pose, holding onto opposite elbows just to release a little bit into the back. Take a moment here to sway left and right, bob up and down. And when you're ready, gradually releasing the hands down onto the mat. And let's roll up vertebra by vertebra, coming all the way up into standing with the last thing to come up being the head. Good. Feet together. Let's find Natarajasana, dancer pose. Bending at the right knee. With the right hand reaching back, catch onto the inside of the foot, thumbs up. Lift the left hand up towards the ceiling. And from here, as we start to kick the back leg up and back, start to hinge at the hips so that the body comes forward to counterbalance. Lift up through the heart, and we allow the left hand to guide the body so that it's not dropping too low. But we kick strongly through the right leg, hold for five, four, good. 
three, hinge deeper at the hips, two, and when you're ready, let's come back to standing, one, back to center, release the foot down onto the mat. Let's switch sides. Bend at the left knee, left hand holding on from the inside, lift the right hand up towards the ceiling, and when you're ready, let's hinge at the hips as we kick up and back with the left foot. Good. The body is guided by the hand, so lift the hand higher and the body will lift higher, but we tilt forward at the pelvis a bit more. Five, four, three, two, and let's hinge at the hips to come back, and one, coming back to standing at the top of the mat. Hands to heart center. Inhale, the arms up overhead, palms to touch. Exhale as you forward fold, hinge at the hips, diving forward. Next inhale, halfway lift. Then exhale, hands down, hop, step or jump back, taking one vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. Left foot forward between the hands for warrior two. Pivot the back heel down as you windmill the arms up. Good, and we're not going to stay in warrior two for so long, so let's just set up in the legs, engage the left glutes so that the knee is not collapsing inwards. And we're grounding down through the outside edge of the right foot here. Make sure that we're nice and set up. Take reverse warrior as you lean forward, flip the front palm. Take the hand up and over towards the back wall. The right hand is crawling down the back leg. But slight variation from usual. Let's pivot at the torso just a little bit so that the chest is facing upwards towards the ceiling. This is reverse warrior with a back bending aspect. Hold it here. Five. Four. Squeeze a little bit more so that the heart is lifted. Three. Two. Good. And one. Let's come back to warrior two first. And from warrior two, taking extended side angle, a left elbow on the left knee, with the right arm sweeping across the front of the face. Good. Roll the right shoulder a little bit further back, gazing underneath the arm up towards the ceiling. Hold and breathe for three. Two, good. And then place the right hand on the hip. One, gazing down onto the mat, get ready for half moon. So. Float the back foot off as the left hand is grounding down at 11 o'clock position from the foot. Stacking right hip over left hip. Once you're ready, lifting the right hand up towards the ceiling. Right foot is flexed and internally rotated. Good. And let's take Chapasana variation by bending the right knee. Right hand reach back, catching onto the foot or ankle. Start to kick the leg away from the body. Five. Four, find that back bend. Three, two, and when you're ready, releasing the foot. One, let's come back to warrior two with the right foot touching down behind, lightly. Then windmill the hands down and step back, taking one vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. Good. Now the right foot forward between the hands for warrior two. Pivot the back heel down, windmill the hands up. Once again, setting up in the warrior two. If you wish to go deeper into the pose, you can always take a slightly longer stance. Good, keep the front knee centered over the ankle. And let's lean forward now, flip the right hand and take it all the way back for reverse warrior, crawling the left hand down. Nice, and we take that back bending variation once again by pivoting at the torso just a little bit, chest facing up towards the ceiling. Five, nice and strong. Four, heart lifted. Three, two, good. And one, let's meet back in warrior two. From warrior two, right elbow, right knee, left arm sweeps across the front of the face, coming into extended side angle. Good. Left shoulder roll back a little bit more, gaze underneath the arm up towards the ceiling. Three, two, placing the left hand on the hip, and one, gaze down at the mat as you float forward, right hand touch down, left hip stacked over right hip with the left foot flexed. Once you found your balance, left hand lift up towards the ceiling. Good. Bend the left knee, 
finding Chapasana with the left hand catching onto the back foot or ankle. Kick the leg away from the body. Five, four, three, two, as you gradually release the foot to come back to half moon. One, let's take a big step back, coming back to warrior two. And from warrior two, windmill the hands down and step back, taking one vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. Look between the hands. Bending the knees, lightly jump forward and sit down onto the mat. Then lying down. Good. Getting ready for bridge pose. Heels close to the butt with the knees bent, feet planted on the mat. Keep the feet hip width apart. Hands should be able to touch the heels. When you're ready, Good. Lifting hips, lower middle back off the mat, scoot the shoulder blades close to each other in bridge pose here. Lift the hips a little higher, but make sure the knees don't open out too much. Chest is coming closer to the chin and we stay here to breathe and hold. Five, four, three, two, and when you're ready, one. Let's lower the hips down onto the mat. Good. Now the option for bridge or wheel pose. So, if you're taking bridge pose following the count, if you're taking wheel pose following the cues. So, wheel pose now with the hands next to the ears, the fingers pointing down towards the shoulders. Once you're set up and ready, let's lift up either to the crown of your head or all the way up. And then those coming up to the crown of the head, adjusting the hands a little bit and pressing all the way up into wheel pose. Stay here to breathe. The work here in the first repetition is to attempt to straighten the hands. Five, good. Just finding that even distribution through the back. Four, squeezing the muscles in the back here. Three, good. The legs also trying to straighten a bit more. Two, chin to chest. And one, gradually lowering down onto the mat. Take a moment here, breathe. One more repetition in wheel. This time we're going to go deeper into the pose. Again, the option for bridge pose. Bridge to follow the count, wheel to follow the cues. Once you're ready, hands down by the ears, fingers pointing at the shoulders. Good. Lifting off either the crown of your head or all the way up. Then adjusting the hands, lifting off all the way. This time, Start to press the chest closer to the back of the mat. So the shoulders are opening up to the back of the mat. The arms totally straight, the legs straightening to the extent that we can for five. Good. Four. Three. Open up through the shoulders. Two. Chin to chest. And one. Lowering back down onto the mat. Good. And let's hug the knees into the chest. Squeezing the body all the way in. Maybe the head is lifted off as well. Just starting to rock back and forth, back and forth. And let's rock our way back up into a seated position. Finishing here in a nice, comfortable seated position. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far and you enjoyed the practice today, please give me a like. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you around soon. Bye!